Hello everyone. My name is uh, Inder P Singh and uh, I have uh, a blog website and a group called uh, Software Testing Space. In this uh, short video, I will be showing you a load test demo using uh, the leading uh, open source tool Apache JMeter. The website uh, we'll be testing uh, is my blog, which is uh, Software Testing Space, as you can see over here. Now, in order to run this load test, we will consider two user profiles. There will be a user profile of uh, first time users, and there will be a user profile of uh, repeat visitors. So the first time visitors basically will uh, have a business transaction that consists of uh, looking at uh, the website's uh, home page and also scrolling down to look at uh, my profile as you can see over here. So that is what uh, the first time visitors will do in their business transaction. The repeat visitors would already be familiar with the website. So instead of uh, navigating to the home page, uh, they will have a business transaction, which consists of uh, directly going to the link for the category of uh, test automation so there is a category of test automation here so they will uh, go to this particular URL where they can see all the test automation articles uh, that I have written uh, apart from that uh, they will also go to the functional testing uh, category and the performance and load testing category by navigating to those appropriate links okay now I have uh, Apache JMeter version 2.9 uh, open in front of me and uh, how this is organized is uh, as uh, two main elements in the tree view on the left hand side pane in the JMeter console that you can see right now the top element is called the test plan and uh, whenever uh, we click on uh, any element uh, in the JMeter tree view it opens up that elements uh, control panel that you can see on the right hand side so right now I have selected uh, the test plan uh, element and we can see the settings or uh, uh, the uh, items we can set for this element so the default name that jmeter gives is uh, the test plan but uh, we can change any default names so i'm calling my test plan software testing space and there is uh, another element in the tree view called workbench uh, which is uh, used uh, in the recording process that we will not use in this demo at all now if i expand my test plan so you can see that uh, there are a couple of uh, elements here first time visit and uh, repeat visit the first time visit and repeat visit are both thread groups a user group in jmeter is called as a thread group and what we need to specify is uh, how many users will be there in that thread group what will be the ramp up period and what will be the loop count of iterations that they perform so it being a blog website of uh, specialized topics so the number of uh, concurrent users is going to be small so just as uh, in reality we can have uh, 10 users or 15 concurrent users on my blog website so I have kept a small number here so there will be three concurrent users a maximum of three concurrent users the ramp up period is 
going to be six seconds that means these three users will be loaded by jmeter in a period of six seconds that means one user will be brought to life by jmeter every two seconds each user will perform 10 iterations so whatever requests are present in this thread group that we'll see shortly each user will perform that set of requests 10 times similarly we have uh, settings for uh, repeat visit thread group in repeat visit thread group uh, uh, I usually get uh, more repeat visitors than brand new users so there will be six uh, concurrent users a maximum of six concurrent users the ramp up period is the same so one new user will be made active by jmeter every second and each user will perform all the the entire set of requests 10 times now let us go a little deeper into the first time visit thread group so as you can see that uh, here are the requests view home page for going to the home page of my website and then we have the view profile page and view profile image now view home page is the request it is called the http request http request is the sampler in jmeter that sends off the request to the particular server name or IP address so we can specify a server name or IP address within the HTTP request and if required we can also specify the path now view home page is not directly under the thread group we can of course uh, keep it directly under the thread group but it is inside a container uh, this container is called uh, there are other containers also in jmeter and it is called a controller so we have the view home page here now it is also possible to put functional checks in jmeter by something called assertion so here is a response assertion so what I am in asserting is that when I send off the request to view the home page and jmeter gets the response back there will be a pattern software testing space contained in the text response if jmeter does not find this pattern in the response then it will assume that it is a failed response otherwise it will assume that it is a correct response similar to the view home page controller we have the view profile controller difference is that view profile controller instead of containing a single http request it contains two http requests one is to view the profile page and here you can see we have the server name or ip address here the server name is there and there is a path also and then there is another http request for the profile image so it goes to a particular server name and there is a path now that's about the first time visit uh, user profile then we have the repeat visit user profile in repeat visit user profile again there is a simple controller uh, there is no logic associated with this controller that is why it is called a simple controller and it has uh, three http requests one is view test automation it goes to my website and it goes to a particular path in the website showing all the test automation articles similarly we have one HTTP request for view uh, performance testing so again it goes to my website and there it goes to all the articles on performance testing and similarly we have another HTTP request for the functional testing now when we start the test as uh, we are going to shortly start the test so jmeter starts sending off the requests to the server and getting the responses back now there are 
multiple reports available in JMeter. In JMeter, the reports are called listeners. So there are two um, types of listeners in JMeter. One show you the tabular test results in the form of a table with more details. And the other type of listener is uh, the graphical listener, which show you the results in a graphical format. So now we will run the test. Before running the test, keep in mind that there will be three first time visitors and there will be six repeat visitors. So let us run the test and notice in the top right corner, it is shown how many threads or users are running and what is the maximum number of threads. So maximum we have three concurrent users for first time vis visit visitors and six concurrent users for the repeat visitors. So I'm going to start the test by clicking on the start button. The test is started and as you can see the number of concurrent users is picking up and it is nine out of nine which means that the maximum number of users are active at this time out of total of nine concurrent users and we can see the results are started coming in now if I stop the scrolling and uh, take you to the top of the results so here you can see the first time vis visitors are there and I'm going to select a few of those requests and the responses data so the first time visitor one hyphen one here the first digit one stands for the thread group number so first time visit is the first thread group so it will always show it as one the repeat visit thread group is the second thread group it will always show it as two in this particular test plan so I'm selecting one hyphen one which means the first thread group first user so so lot of requests are over here and this is another one and this is the third one so if we see from the top so the way the first request of the first thread group first user was to view the home page which is the first request and then if we scroll down we can see the second and third requests over here so the second request is to view the profile page so it shows a view profile page and the third request is to view the profile image and it shows sorry here it is it shows the view profile image now in the test results it shows a number of columns so it shows the sample number sample number is shown for the response sample number it shows the start time so it is uh, 11 37 p.m. it shows the label whatever label we have uh, typed in the name field then it shows the response time in milliseconds so it to view the home page it took a total of 1.4 seconds to send the request for the request to travel from my computer to the website for the web server to understand the request generate the response and send the entire response back to my computer overall it took 1.4 seconds and the status is ok and there were 80,940 bytes in the response so this is all the uh, all the responses uh, data for the test results same way we have uh, the graphical results and uh, before we analyze the graphical results so look here that now only three users are running out of a total of nine users because the other six users have finished off their iterations and they have been dropped by jmeter only the work of three users is remaining at this time and once the test is stopped this green box will turn gray indicating that the test has stopped 
so here there are two graphs that I have selected one is the average response time so if we look at the blue line over here we see that the average response time initially was uh, low then it uh, picked up as uh, the number of requests increased and uh, then it uh, kind of uh, increased a bit and uh, it uh, settled down okay and the green line is uh, for the throughput so as we can see initially the throughput uh, dropped but then it increased and then it stabilized and finally the throughput dropped because there were uh, less users with remaining iterations and in the bottom right we can see the average uh, response time uh, came out to be uh, more uh, so it came out to be uh, more than uh, the first one that we saw it came out to be 4.4 seconds uh, which is still okay if our uh, performance uh, requirement was that we should get every response below 5 seconds so still it is a high response time but still it is within the threshold of our performance requirement and the throughput it shows as 65 or 66 responses received per minute so that is the graphical results if you look in the top right corner so now no users are active out of nine maximum users and this box here it was green when the test was running and now it is gray because the test has stopped now for the assertion results I have selected that it should show only errors so it shows uh, the test results in the listener called view results in table also in graph results but assertion results there are no results shown because we have selected it only for errors so this is uh, our uh, uh, simple uh, load test demo in jmeter so hopefully with this uh, video i was able to uh, get you interested in using jmeter because uh, jmeter is uh, a really simple to use tool with uh, many powerful features and uh, you can use jmeter to model your uh, uh, performance tests and load tests uh, quickly and uh, easily and uh, be able to successfully load test uh, your website and uh, other applications so thank you very much for uh, joining and uh, that's all for this video